Hi guys, welcome to this video in which I'm going to demonstrate two variants of XBMC for the Raspberry Pi, uh, OpenELEC and RasBMC. Uh, what I've got here is two Raspberry Pis, Model Bs, the 512 meg versions. You can see one on the glass shelf on the wall and one on the table down here. Uh, connected up to these two monitors, uh, the top one's running OpenELEC, the bottom one's running RasBMC. Uh, they're both connected to USB keyboards uh, and connected to my home network and both of them can also be controlled via iOS devices or Android devices. Uh, so I think what I'll do is uh, I'll wait for the one at the bottom to finish updating its library and then uh, I think the first test I'll do is a cold reboot and see if uh, one boots up quicker than the other on the same hardware. So. Uh, both devices connected to the same power block on the table there and booted up at exactly the same time by the main switch on the wall uh, so we'll just see which one boots up the quickest I think we have to give the advantage to open elect there, it did boot up slightly quicker than Raspberry MC. Uh, that being said, it's more, no more than a few seconds in it. And Raspberry MC catches up. And it's worth considering that the Raspberry Pi is really designed to be left on at all times, so this is not uh, something to be too concerned about unless you're planning on uh, powering down your, your uh, Raspberry Pi when you're not using it. There you go, you can see they've both booted up, uh, and as well as that, the script on the Raspberry Pi is run to detect the network. Uh, Open Elect doesn't give you a notification, it just goes ahead and connects to your network anyway. Uh, so there you go, I think uh, we have to give uh, the win to Open Elect on that one. Let's see how they get on with some other tests. So one of the most important things you're going to want to check is uh, how both of these work in terms of the user experience, navigating the menus and such. So uh, I'll just show you, I'll try and navigate both simultaneously using the two keyboards I've got here. Uh, let's go and have a look at our TV shows. And scroll through and see how fast it updates our artwork, uh, TV show artwork, and bios, etc. And let's go back up to the top. Navigate down through a TV show. You'll notice, uh, I don't know if it will come out on the camera, but Raspberry MC on the bottom has actually downloaded some higher resolution artworks than OpenELEC on the top. Um, which doesn't seem to be giving a great deal of difference in terms of performance. Uh, so you have to wonder if it's worth uh, using uh, Raspberry MC just for the better artworks. Because to be honest, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of difference in terms of performance. Uh, you notice Raspberry MC at the bottom has got a different view enabled. Uh, it's not a problem just to change to the same view. It just takes a few seconds to sort itself out. So that's very slow changing views, although to be fair, I think if I tried to change views on Open Elect that would be, oh no, it's a bit faster. Yeah, no, it's noticeably faster changing through the different view options on Open Elect compared to Raspberry MC. Let's just try and get them on the same screen. Same one? No. This might take a while. 
you know what, I'm getting bored of that. Let's just scroll through what we've got. It's worth considering for uh, Raspberry MC, it's very slow changing views, but how often did not do that? Let's, um, if my system will allow me, let's start playback of the same episode at the same time, see what happens. I did hit enter at the same time on both keyboards. You can see that although they both play back absolutely fine, uh, Open Elect was a bit quicker to the punch. Let's come out of that. Go back to the main menus on both. Let's navigate movies. Uh, just to show you, both of these fully capable of playing uh, full HD movies. That's an easiest way to demonstrate that is just going to Wally because I. Put that on either down and know it's full HD. Let's see how quickly it can bring these up. So again, open a leg slightly quicker. Uh, so you can hear me. Uh, so you can see they're both playing it back no problems, both playing full 1080p. Uh, this is an M4V file that I encoded from a Blu-ray uh, in full HD. So they're both having no trouble playing it. You notice Open Elect was a lot quicker to start playing. Um, these are both the same spec piece of kit, so it's, it's quite surprising to see this difference in um, the speed of the interface. Stop both of those. I think the only other thing of merit to show you are the two menus that come with either system. Um, Open Elect comes with its own proprietary menu, you'll see on the top screen, uh, which allows you to change some of the system settings, keyboard layout and LCD drivers and things like that, uh, and also change network settings. You can use this with, um, with a USB Wi-Fi dongle, although I haven't been able to configure it myself, but I have been having a few issues. Uh, you can uh, set up two network interfaces, I think, uh, which is interesting. And uh, you can also uh, use, choose to use uh, SSH and use Samba, they're more for sort of advanced use. Um, let's come out of that. We do have an equivalent menu on Raspberry MC, which is a new feature actually. There's a new update of Raspberry MC came out a couple of days ago, and this was one of the features of it. Uh, pretty much the same thing, it allows you to configure the uh, network settings for your device without having to reboot it. Uh, you can uh, install the latest nightly version of XPMC, which is the trial version, uh, which would be interesting. Switch between different versions of XPMC that you've installed, so I'm guessing if you've installed the nightly, you can switch between the nightly version and the stable version. Uh, and then you've also got a few different configuration issues. Um, keep Raspberry MC updated is an interesting one. When Raspberry MC boots up, and it might be the reason it boots up slightly slower, it actually looks online to see if there's any updates and then downloads them automatically if there are, which is a cool feature. Uh, of course, it will only download stable updates, it won't download uh, any nightly build information, as far as I'm aware. And you can also have configuration for IR Remote uh, on Raspberry MC, which is not a feature I've seen on Open Elect. Um, one other thing that's interesting, and I can't demonstrate on this setup, uh, is that Raspberry MC seems to support the technology that would allow you to use your TV remote to control the Raspberry Pi over an HDMI link. Open Elect didn't give me the same sort of functionality when I connected it up to my big screen TV, so that's worth considering as well. Although it may just be a configurable option that I've not found yet. So there you have it, the two side by side. I think I would have to give the edge honestly to Open Elect in terms of performance. Uh, it's nice that Raspberry MC allows you to do system updates automatically. Uh, they both have more or less the same experience when browsing through the high-level menus, but it does seem that OpenLake more or less slightly has the edge in terms of usability, uh, the delay before it starts playing back files, and also uh, the delay on boot up. So my recommendation at the moment would be to go with OpenLake for now, but keep an eye out on uh, Raspberry MC, and uh, just have a spare SD card lying around and give it a go. Um, one thing I didn't mention earlier on, both these Raspberry Pi are using exactly the same SD card. I ordered two SD cards from the same manufacturer, uh, so it's not down to write and read speeds on the SD card, it is purely down to programming it seems. Uh, so that's what I wanted to demonstrate in this video, I hope it's been useful for you. Uh, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching guys.